This is Dr. Alan Watson. I'm an ophthalmologist practicing in Missouri, and we're discussing the growth processes and some of the things associated with growth. Generally, what causes people to grow is they have an epiphyseal growth plate at the end of their bones on both the distal, the end, and the proximal end of the bone. As these individuals mature, that ep epiphyseal growth plate continues to expand and the osteoclasts that are making the bone lay down calcium and that becomes part of the bone matrix and also cartilage and the cartilage becomes the framework for the bone to ossify and what happens in individuals as they mature and usually the, the factors that control these epiphyseal both plate maturation is hormonal and after the sex hormones are in place in these individuals for three to five years the epiphyseal growth plate will start to ossify itself and the cartilage will resorb and that epiphyseal growth plate fuses all just calcified bone and the bone will no longer elongate and grow and that usually will limit the overall size and height and stature of that person. How does a person stop growing is generally controlled when their epiphyseal bone plates ossify or lay down calcium and then that growth plate fuses down and once the bone is all calcium it's mineralized and just like a bone off the skeleton closet doesn't change length. Once the bone is all hardened, it's not going to continue to elongate and grow. It's only in that growth plate where the bone can change in length. And once the growth plate is sealed, their growth is finished. And this has been Dr. Alan Watson discussing the growth processes that affect both men and women. Thank you.